Did you notice? Hybrid seems to be everywhere these days. There's almost kind of like a revival. It jumps up in articles, analysts, everybody's talking about it. It's crazy. New statistics come out that not just 63 or 68% of enterprise have a cl hybrid cloud strategy, but all the way up to 90. Even the CFO of Microsoft gets asked about their hybrid cloud strategy from Wall Street analysts. It's insane. But I can tell you from personal experience, I get to talk about hybrid right now a lot. Definitely every day. I'm not kidding. I'm talking every day about hybrid. It's part of my job. I have the pleasure to represent from a product marketing standpoint, Azure Stack Hub and Azure Stack Edge. Amazing products, by the way, but it's not about this. Today, I want to talk to you about what do you need for a successful hybrid cloud strategy? Let's first talk of where we're at right now. We are in a moment of time where your environments have become so increasingly complex that the majority of companies I know don't have an end-to-end -end view around all the dependencies that they have in their environments. They have hundreds to thousands of applications from all different kinds, large companies, small companies, self-written. They have hosters, data centers, different OEM hardware, remote branch offices, some already have IoT in their environment, and most of them have a multi-cloud reality. Yes, we all like to say we have a multi-cloud strategy, but the reality is we're ended up here because a department A bought cloud provider A, department B bought cloud provider B, and all of a sudden was like, okay, thank you, now you take care of it and make sure everything is safe, secure, and compliant. And when you think about this complexity, I can already tell you, one product is not going to make it simple. One product is not going to fix that for you. Hybrid is bigger than any one product or any two products I represent. It's just bigger. It's not as simple as just this one or two product. Let me give you some context of what I mean. Let's assume I would call you tomorrow pick up the phone. I'm like, hey, hello. Listen, I decided I want to be a professional runner and I want to win in the next Olympic Games. That's my goal. What would you tell me? Would you tell me, oh, good. Thank you for calling me. Um, make sure you buy the best shoes money can buy. That's all you need. But then wait, what about the other things? What about sleep? What about food? What about the training? Is any of this needed to be successful? Of course. All these dimensions are important if I want to win the Olympics or even have a shot at winning the Olympics. The same applies to hybrid. It's not one product. It's not one dimension. It's across multiple dimensions that you need to be in great shape to be successful. Otherwise, you will fail in your strategy, I can promise you that much. So let's take a look at the different dimensions. First dimension is the physical location of your environment. I want you to close your eyes. Just mentally walk with me through this. Where is your environment located? You most likely have a data center where you have servers of different OEMs, most likely different hardware. You most likely have offices. Those offices have server racks or smaller servers. If you're advanced, you have some kind of IoT in it as well. And depending on the industry, you may have fleet management where your cars run around with sensors that you're responsible for. You may have a retail floor, a factory floor that has chips, computers, some kind of compute in it. And so I want you to map this out. Draw it on a whiteboard. Where is all this location? Then come up with where are these location going to be still around in 5, 10 years from now? Do you still believe you're going to have compute sensors more or less? And so now, at the first dimension of your physical location, you take a look at what do the big cloud providers help you in all these places? Does cloud provider A have something for your data center? For your remote branch offices? for the edge, for IoT. And then you make what is available, who does have something or not. Just compare them on that level. Who helps you in which environment? 
The second dimension is security and identity. They're key. They're key. Now we're knowing where everywhere there is, could be the cars, the fleet that drives around or whatever, but we know, we know where our assets is. Who helps me to secure all these assets from chips all the way to the mobile phones, to the servers, to whatever it might be, including user identity across all these locations? Who has a solution that I can use to secure all of this because I don't want to have 17 different solutions anymore. I would like one who can help me secure this end to end. And the same with identity, who helps you with identity? What identity is needed that, you know, in your office, let's say a person can go up to the printer, use their badge to scan so that the printer knows, okay, now I'm going to release this print job. What kind of identity requirements do you have? And are these identities secured with AI that makes pattern analysis and say, oh, this person is behaving in a way it never behaved. So let me pop this up and give it to the attention to the security analyst so they can take a look and can take action. Compare the cloud provider on that. What do they do around security for all your physical places that we talked about it and the identity that even leaves that environment? The third dimension is connectivity. What do they offer you in sense of connectivity? Because here's the thing, hybrid is more than one, right? It's at least two different environments and they need to be connected to really make it work in a sense. There is disconnected hybrid scenarios, but you know what I mean? The majority of us will have a connectivity need. And so what do they offer? Do they offer you, for example, a service that anybody that needs to access this application, but let's say this application is in a hoster or your on premises, that you can use their delivery mechanism to get there. Are they offering connectivity, let's say to other cloud providers, because you have a really big Oracle's um, install base that you're gonna keep on going with. Are they offering any solution there? What about your inter data center connectivity needs? If you wanna move files from, let's say your data center in Europe to your data center in America, are they offering you anything there? Are they allowing you to use their backbone? Is the cloud provider giving you the capability to use them as the central hub for all your connectivity needs? Compare them on that dimension. And last but not least, let's talk about SaaS productivity suites. While many of you still have mainframes, so will many of you will still have VMs long, long in the future. Many of you have maybe still exchange servers in remote areas, in areas with specific data and privacy laws or regulations or because of you internally and that's why you can't move. What do the cloud provider provide you in that productivity suite, in that SaaS and PaaS world, while many things will gonna be containerized of the applications you write yourself, there are other awesome technologies like serverless, that are super awesome to use and actually can be used to even in hybrid scenarios in rich on-premises install bases. But think about it holistically. Into the future, you're always going to have SaaS solutions, could be Salesforce. You're always going to use like a social media, whatever those platforms are for your marketing departments and how you interact with your customers and partners. So keep that in mind. Again, your environment is so much more. And then think and compare what does each of the cloud provider offer you in that space? So when we go back to the running, it needs everything. It needs the equipment needs to be right. It needs to be nutrition, training, sleep. Everything matters, even my mental health at the end of the day. And the same is for your hybrid cloud strategy. I urge you not to make the mistake. And I am in too many discussions on feature comparison versus Anthos versus Arc or Outpost versus Hub. But the reality is you're not gonna put an Outpost or a Hub in all of your branch offices, you're just not. The reality is your environment is bigger than VMs and containers. You have devices, could be mobile phones, laptops in the future, maybe it's fancy holograms that access your environment. How do you do this endpoint protection? What about that security side of the house and the identity piece? 
And so whenever I have this discussion in my head, I'm like, we got to have to take a few steps back. This one thing alone will solve, will maybe provide you a batch, a band-aid for this one particular problem, but it will not make you successful in your hybrid cloud strategy. To be successful, you have to consider it all. All dimensions, and that's why it's important to have the conversation. That's why it's important that the CIO is involved, that has the whole interest of the company at heart, or from at least an IT perspective, where some people may be too close to the problem. Now, if you want to learn more or more uniqueness about these different dimensions, how they come together, or what exactly to think about it, please reach out, comment on it. I'm happy to get back to you. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or just reach out on YouTube comments. And please make sure you subscribe to this. And if your company currently is evaluating your hybrid products, please share this video with them. Tell them that it's important to consider all dimensions of hybrid to be successful. Thank you. And I wish you the best of success in your hybrid cloud strategy. And again, subscribe, like, and if you have questions, feel free to reach out.